I'm Master Hypnotist Thomas Fresno this afternoon. I'm going to hypnotize people from this audience. All right. So we're going to have our volunteers come up here. Um, let's give a big round of applause for our volunteers. You can use the stairs. You got to use the stairs over there, over there, walk up over the front. All right. Okay. Again, my name is Tom Bresadola. I have a master's in hypnosis, and we're going to have a really good time this afternoon. And please join with me. Give our volunteers a big round of applause. If you would, thank you. Got the lights coming down. Thank you very much, Abby. Thank you. Good. How's everybody doing? Good. Good. A little tight quarters here, right? Don't worry about it. What I'd like you to do right now is I want you to push your back all the way to the back of the chair. I want you to put your feet flat on the floor. Where's my voice? It's going to keep you from staying going deeper and deeper. Here on this, the last count of one, sleep. Feels good, doesn't it? Not your head pain, it feels good. Sure, it's all heavy, it doesn't want to move. Huh? So glad you came with me on this journey. Others are going to wish they joined us on this journey because I have a secret. I'm keeping the secret, and finally I can say what it is. I almost let the cat out of the bag earlier. I think you can see it. Good. Hey, bus driver, turn on the AC, will you, man? That's right. Turn on the AC. It's getting hot in this bus here. It's getting hot on this bus. That's right. It's getting, you, know, you can feel the AC there. It's getting, it's getting, come on, bus driver, turn on the AC, will you? I'm sorry about the heat. Just try to fan yourself there. Just try to fan yourself. <coughs> That's right. You guys can make noise. We got it. That's right. That's right. That's right. He's got, look, he's got the heater on. He's got the heater on. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to turn on the climate control. Ooh, there we go. we got the nice uh, air AC going now. That's right. Ooh, you can feel nice cool air coming out of those vents now. Good. Oh, we're next in line. Oh, we're next in line to take off as the flight attendant comes back by. You want to put your drink back up there. We don't want that to spill. That's right. Good, as they're revving up those engines, here we go, we're rolling down the runway. We're picking up speed. We're beginning to lift off, here we go, five feet, 10 feet, 50 feet, we are in the air. Just enjoy the ride, it's a little bit bumpy, a little bit bumpy, not to make anybody sick or anything. That's right, going above the clouds where you can see everything here. That's right, hey, did you ever dream about flying a plane? My friend is the pilot, he's gonna let you fly the plane. Right now, count of three, you're going to be flying this plane. One, two, reach on up, grab that steering column, grab the steering column. Three, you are flying the plane. This is you flying the plane. This is awesome. This is awesome. You're going towards those trees. You're heading towards the trees. Pull it off, man. Pull it off, man. Okay, look it off. Look it off. Aim for the clouds. Aim for the clouds. All right, aim for the clouds. Good. good. Clouds are good. There you go. All right, we're going off course. Let's do the 30 degree bank turn to the left. Just turn to the left there, nice and easy. There you go, there you go. Straighten it out, straighten it out. Good, good. The pilot is taking over the controls. That's right, you're back in your seat. There you go, that was amazing as, you're, as you are descending gently to the private airstrip of the horse racing park where somebody here could win one. Thousand dollars. That's right. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Pilot says there's something out the window. He wants you to see. Look at that beach down there. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those people are playing volleyball. Whoa, that's a nudist colony. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> they got binoculars. <laughs> He has the biggest set of binoculars I've ever seen. Right off the right. Oh, so straighten your chair. We're here at the horse racing park. It's a beautiful day out there. Uh, there's some binoculars on that table right there. Grab your binoculars out. Take a look around. It's a beautiful course. Look at that greenery. It's beautiful. And uh, we're horse race number five. And don't worry about tickets or money. I have tickets for everybody. That's right, let's take a look at the scoreboard there and see what race they are on. And oh my goodness, they've already started loading the horses in for our race. I better do this very quickly. Hold your hand out. I'm gonna come by and place a ticket in your hand. It could be worth a thousand dollars. That's right. And we're gonna start the race. There's the bell, and they're off. Number six is gone. Here comes 
can't believe you dated that person. Hey, there's the on ramp to the freeway. Let's put the pedal to the metal. Whoa! Feel the power! Yeah! 55. 65. That one's coming through the sunroof. Little white sports car coming up behind you. He's going to try passing you. He just cut you off! <laughs> Is that sign language he's giving out the window? Show him out the sunroof, what do you think? <laughs> you got mud all over your car, man. Mud all over your car. We're going to have to wash your car off. Pull your car into the driveway. That's right, pull it into your driveway. Put it in the park. <laughs> I'm close the sunroof because you don't want any water getting in the car. Turn the engine off. It's soon. Hold yourself there. This person, this person that I'm touching on the shoulder right now, listen to me very closely, and very good imagination. Upon awakening, you may notice that there are pieces of paper on the floor. Now, they are pieces of paper, but you will realize, this person I'm touching on the shoulder right now, you're going to realize those are not ordinary pieces of paper. They're actually $100 bills. And they fell out of your pocket. And you know that there's money on the floor. And you are going to try to collect as many as those imaginary $100 bills that you can find. But you don't want me to catch you. That's right. Now, if you have to stand up and walk across the stage to find one of those pieces of $100 bill, you will. However, you're going to watch where you're walking because we are on a stage. There isn't a railing. That's right. you got to be careful. Not your head for me to understand. Good. Huh? This person I'm touching on the shoulder. Upon awakening, if you see those pieces of paper, you're going to try to collect this many without me catching you. Oh, you don't want me to catch you because I'll realize that was my money. That's right. Not to catch me, you understand? Good. Doing very good. Very wonderful. This person I'm touching on the shoulder right now, listen to me very closely. Each and every time I say the word green, the color green, each and every time I say the word green, you will react as if a person in the audience has brought their dog with them to the show. And the dog is barking. And you're going to tell them to make, to, to, you know, for the dog to be quiet. You're going to tell them to control their dog. That's right. Oh, it's going to make you very angry that they, someone brought a dog here. That's right. Imagine that for me if you understand. Good. Each every time I say the word green, this person I'm touching on the shoulder, I say the word green, you're just going to yell at the person in the audience to tell their dog to be quiet. That's right. Not to have to make Good. She relax and deeper and deeper. Sounder and sounder. This person I'm touching on the shoulder right now, each and every time I ask you your name, you're going, to, you're going to tell me a different name. If I ask your name five different times, you will tell me five different names. You, you, I don't know your name. You're playing a trick on me. It's going to make you feel real good to tell me a different name. That's right. You might even laugh because, you know, it's a joke on me because I don't know your real name. It could be a man's name, a woman's name, a famous name, a non-famous name. That's right. You're going to tell me a different name. It's going to make you feel so good. That's right. That's right. All those different names. Not your head for me, if you understand. Each and every time, I ask your name, you tell me a different name. This person I'm touching on the shoulder right now is to me very closely. Each and every time I ask you your name, you're going to tell me to shut up. That's right. You're going to tell me to shut up. You know, you you um, you think, or you think that I was the guy who uh, who took your parking space the other day, and you're not happy with me. That's right. And I, you know, I, I don't know nothing about a parking spot, but every time I ask you your name, oh, you're not happy with me. You're going to tell me to shut up. You don't want me to know your name. Not you have to make you understand. That's right. You may be you may be mean to me, but you will not hit me. That's right. <laughs> not you have to make you understand. Good. Just relax. The deeper, deeper, sounder, and sounder. This person I'm touching on the shoulder right now. Devin, you have a, a wonderful imagination. Listen to me very closely. Upon awakening, Devin, your, inner, your internal clock will count down from 30 seconds to zero. When it gets to zero, you're going to stand up and say, Hey, Tom. Tom's my name. You're going to say, Tom, when are you going to start the show? And no matter what answer I give you, you'll be satisfied. You're going to have a seat back in your chair. 
And when you sit back down in your chair, after you get comfortable again, your internal clock will count down for 30 seconds. When it reaches zero, again, you're going to stand up and ask me, hey, Tom, when are you going to start the show? This thing will go forever. Now you've had to make you understand. Gosh, relax me deeper, deeper. Sounder and sounder. This person I'm touching on the shoulder right now, listen to me closely every time I ask you your name. Every time I ask you your name. No, no, this person I'm touching on the shoulder, you listen to me very closely. You know what? Each and every time I say my name, which is Tom, each and every time I say Tom, no matter where I am in this room, you're going to walk over to me to introduce yourself. That's right. You want me to know who you are. That's right. Now your head for me if you understand. That's right. If I ask you to have a seat back in the audience, or not that, I mean back in your chair here on the stage, you will. And, and if you're walking, you know, on the stage, which we are on, you gotta be careful. There's no railing. You gotta watch your step. That's right. Now you have to make you understand. Each every time I found awakening, I said, well, Tom, you gotta introduce yourself to me. That's right. I'm going deeper and deeper, sounder and sounder. Doing very good. Very <laughs> wonderful. And for everybody here, for everyone here, each and every time I say the word orange. Each every time I say the word orange, you will react as if your belly button has popped off right there on the floor in front of you. That's right. You're going to react as if your belly button has popped right off. You're just going to lean over, pick it up, and toss it right back on. That's right. Yeah. No, it looked like you, it looked like you fell asleep on me. Did, did, did you fall asleep? Yeah. No. And your name is you are. Shut up. <laughs> okay, just wondering if sleep there. But, uh, my name is Tom Brezidol. I'm a hypnotist. I know it doesn't look like it right now. But, uh, oh, the, the, my YouTube channel is The Mind Traveler or Thomas Brezidol, a hypnotist or Tom Hypnotist. Oh, Maggie, yes, pleasure, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we are going to... Uh, hey, Tom. Yes. When are you going to okay. start the show? Oh, I'm starting just a moment. Starting just a moment. Yes. Uh, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to do a little exercise to uh, help everybody relax. You know what, I, what I'd like to do first, though, is... <laughs> Your name is Jasmine. What's your name? Jasmine? Why don't you have a seat over here? It's better. You can have a seat here if you want. Can okay, you go around? Come right around. Yeah, you have a seat right there. Um, what we're going to do is it Jasmine? Did I get that right? Yeah. It's a pleasure. We'll start with, and your name is? Meg. Meg. Yes, we met. We met a moment. You are? Ray. Ray. This is? Hey, Tom. Yes. When are you going to start the show? I'm just going to start. Because, yes, we met. Meg. Yes. We got to have to right? We started in just a moment. So your name is? Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You are? You are? Your name is? Nice to meet you. You are? Louise. Louise. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi. Your name is? Yeah. My name is Tom Brezzadola. Um Meg, yes, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Normally, um, when I when I do a show, I flew in and I have this disc and it's yellow. And this uh, what it does is it actually helps people go into hypnosis. Orange doesn't work as good when you when you hypnotize people. It's, not, it's really not a good color. But the blue blue's a good color. Tom, yes. When are you gonna start the show? I'm gonna start it right now. Yes. Man, yes, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Green, green also works good to hypnotize people. Yes. You need it's barking. What's the problem? It's barking. You're in the middle of the show. That, that happens sometimes, you know, people have uh, dogs. I can do about that. But green does really work when you're hypnotizing uh. somebody. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh. Yes! When is the show going to start? I'm going to start right now. I'm going to start right now. No, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure. You have a, you have a seat there. This is what we're going to do. Your name is Dev. 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 You're going to help me out here. Uh, Dev, you see that? You see the red light back there? 
Devin, I want you to focus on that red light. I'm going to talk to everyone else here. And then I'm going to uh, I'm going to come back to you, okay? You focus on that light. All right, I need everybody else to sit back, relax. Sit back, relax. Good. Put your hands on your back. Take a nice deep breath, baby. Take a exhale. And sleep! Oh. Hold yourself right there. Perfect balance all the way down. Perfect balance. Devin, 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 don't fall asleep on me, Devin. Devin, look at that. Look, look over here. Look, you fell asleep, though. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Devin, I got something to show you. You're gonna love this. You're gonna hold your hand out like this. Hold out. Like this. I have here. This is so cool. This is so cool. Look at it. It's a sleep cloud. Look at it. 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 You're gonna throw it over to people over here. It's gonna fly through the air. It's gonna go right around the back. It's gonna come down this aisle way. It's gonna come right over the heads of everybody here. It's gonna hit you and put you right to sleep. It's really cool. Ready? Count three. One, two, three. Applause, <laughs> <laughs> if you would. That's a very good afternoon. I'm going to count from one to three. I'm gonna you're going to be wide awake. However, if I turn my back to you, you will react as if the back half of my suit is completely missing. No underwear, no nothing. The front half is on. See, the back half is falling off. The button is falling off my suit. And if I pick the button up off the floor and put it on my suit, my suit will be completely fixed. That's right, completely fixed. Now, my suit will be missing, that's right, and you're gonna want to tell me my suit is missing. So you can call me over to you. If I do come over to you, you will tell me my suit is missing. However, you will not touch me. I can tell you a story. <laughs> In a moment, I'm gonna count from one to three. <laughs> you're gonna be wide awake, and I can think you're hypnotized. However, if I turn my back to you, you will react as if the back half of my suit has flopped on down. If I put the button back on my suit, my suit will be completely fixed. That's right. Nod your head for me to understand. Alright, you'll see in your mind. Ready now. Count three. One. Two. Sitting up straight. Three. Open your eyes while I feel very good, very fresh. Hey, has anybody here ever heard of horseback riding? No, no one's ever horse riding. I'm gonna tell you right now, I will never go horseback riding. No, again. bro. You went horseback riding then? No, I went so horseback riding for the first time two weeks ago. No. Sweet! <laughs> 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 